hard to forget the images of 2011. Record amounts of water coming down the Missouri, flooding the basin, communities, farms. Well, the Army Corps of Engineers' release of water from the Gavin's Point Dam became a symbol of those floods. So when the Corps announced its increasing flows again because of late summer rains, we went north to ask why. KATV News Watch Evans' Kyle Gravelin has this new story tonight. Even after torrential rains upstream, it doesn't look like June of 2011. The Army Corps of Engineers says that's because it isn't. The magnitude of water that we're dealing with right now is, is nowhere near the magnitude of that water. So why then has the Corps decided to open the floodgates and allow water around the hydroelectric plant and into the lower Missouri? We had the third highest August runoff in history going all the way back to 1898. That rain has filled the major reservoirs upstream. And if the Corps hopes to have flood control next spring, all that water has to come down through Gavin's Point. It really is a balancing act. Gavin's Point's real role is not to store flood water, but to balance out the ever changing flows from up basin. What we do is we moderate their fluctuations so we can provide a relatively stable flow of water downstream. The Corps explains moderating the flow doesn't always mean keeping the river from rising. The current release has raised the river level two and a half feet below the dam. And while the memories of 2011 are still fresh in the minds of a million lower Missouri residents, the Corps insists the current release is not in response to lessons learned three years ago. The lessons of 2011 um, really aren't being applied all that much right now. But in spite of that, the release is unusual and will continue well into winter. We'll have higher than normal winter release. With Chief Photojournalist Scott Buer, I'm Kyle Gravlin, KETV News Watch 7. And here is a look at the sheer volume moving through the Gavin's Point Dam. At the peak of the 2011 release, more than 160,000 cubic feet of water was flowing every second. Now, the maximum capacity that the dam could release, 584,000 cubic feet. 